men, but more importantly, are they successful men that have money? How much do you think you spent on her? 40,000. $40,000. Four guests an arrangement. This sugar baby's best friend is disgusted by her arrangement. What do you call their relationship then? An a a prostitution ring. <laughs> yeah. It's best friend versus sugar daddy in an all-out brawl. You're a pimp. A desperate pimp. Yeah, oh that's yeah. it. I have personality, that's right. Personality? Yes, you live absolutely. It <laughs> no, I have it here. And one surprise guest may put a kink in this couple's arrangement. Last time we saw each other was only a couple months ago. June, he doesn't really know that, but now he does. I love my lifestyle. I date successful men, but more importantly, I date successful men that have money. Right now, I'm dating Sergio. He's a very wealthy man, and he just, you know, whatever I need, he's there to provide for me. And whenever he needs me, I'm there as well. We have been to the Bahamas. We have been to Costa Rica. I have a lot of fun on these trips. He buys me whatever I want on these trips as well. And we just have a great time. We are enjoying each other's company. He has bought me designer bags. He has bought me designer shoes. Nothing is too expensive for him to get. As long as he knows it's going to make me happy, it's going to make me look great, and especially great in front of his friends, he just goes out there and gets it for me. I love dating Sergio. You're crazy. Yeah, I know what you said. Okay, uh, good. I hope you did. All I right. hope it, no, I so hope it in bed. My version. So, how did you get to meet Sergio then? Some website or something? Yes, I did. So, what? There's a whole. That's is right. It, yes. Is it kind of like a, a catalog of guys and you pick number 24 or so? Is it like ordering a Chinese meal or something? Well. <laughs> well, I got a wink from him, pretty much. So, I was, I'm a woman and I'm assertive and I know what I want. So what I did is I emailed him and I said, you know what? Let's meet. Let's talk. What's wrong with that? Right. So okay. the first date, what was that like? Well, he has these beautiful, sea green eyes. He's disgusting. All right, can I tell <laughs> You know what? You, you had your chance to talk. Okay, no. okay. All right, okay. But don't make yeah. us nauseous at the same time, okay? All right, let me talk, okay? okay? All right, okay. So did he treat you nicely? Yes, he treated me beautifully. We went out to dinner. An expensive dinner, and he paid for it. He paid for everything. <laughs> Not even 50 50. Good for you. Yeah. Good Not for you. All right, right. good for you. Well, how does it work? What are, you, are you dating? What do you call it? Well, I guess it's an arrangement. Prostitution. He, no, it's not. Okay. He buys me, yes, beautiful shoes, dresses. He takes me on trips. Pimping. I've been to Bahama. Pimp me I've out. To, please, pimp the ride. I've okay. been to Costa Rica. Okay? Yeah. And what's wrong with that? He's a successful man. He has a business. Okay? He has helped me with my business. I have a business as well. So All we right. help each other. We complement each other. Okay? At I, the end. I, I help him close accounts with his business. But Carla, okay? uh, let, let me ask you something. Yes. Um, so right at the beginning, mm -hmm. when you meet up, is there a discussion about who's going to do what or, you know, I mean, if you have a headache, mm -hmm. for instance, and he wants sex, if he's paying, you have to... <laughs> Yeah, how does that work? How yeah, do tell. You? <laughs> oh, do tell. Why do you want a guy like this? Why? Well, pretty much I've been dating broke men, okay? Men that are just at the bottom. And at the end of the day, they have men that are successful. That's what she doesn't understand. They are no. successful. They are high-level thinkers. They are intelligent. Hey, hey, okay? but why can't Why you... not? Why not be around individuals that will help me network and just get to the top? Why can't you meet people like that just out socially? Exactly. Exactly. Well, someone that's not going to pimp you out. He's okay. pimping you. He's pimping okay. you. Okay, take it easy. So you have this arrangement with Sergio. Okay. What happens if you start falling for him? I know. So it was kind of explaining it. Uh -huh. uh, so what will you do? Do you, do you, are you falling for him? Uh, well, right now, like I said, I'm not giving everything. I can't. I have to hold back. Somebody said I, yes or no. No, well, if I put all expectations on him, I'm going to push him away. I'm like, okay. She doesn't know what she wants. Wait, let me talk. Let me talk. If I tell him, sweetie, I just, you know, I want to get married. I want to have kids. Oh, do else, you? I'm going to scare him away. But I'm that's what you want. Is that what you want? I mean, the future would be nice with someone, you know, if they're willing she to. She don't know what she wants. I just don't want to put unrealistic expectations. I want him to give me genuinely what he wants to give me right now. I know our ladies in the audience want uh -oh. to meet Sergio. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> let's hear why Sergio says this arrangement works. So, Sergio, oh, come oh, on. Our oh. ladies in the audience oh. want to meet Sergio. Um, yeah. Survive. Let's hear why Sergio says this arrangement works. So, Sergio, oh, come oh, on out. Oh, let's oh, read it.
website to meet women. You look like you know, you look like you could do it all without a website. Why do you need a website? Because I um, I have no time. It's a website that gives you guarantees that you're not going to find at a bar. What well, what kind of guarantees does it give? Well, you find what you're looking for. Desperation. You find a person that is very smart, beautiful, right. that have a great conversation that you can mm -hmm. take and present to your clients, and you're not going to be shy of. Yeah, you're a pimp. A oh, desperate yeah. pimp. Yeah, oh, That's yeah. it. A desperate pimp. So, Sergio, is there an arrangement? Hey, hey, hey. It's a kind of arrangement, but it's nothing on paper. We. we but what kind of rules, find. roughly? Are but uh, she knows that I'm a busy person. I work a lot, long hours every day. Right. And uh, I don't need someone to be texting me all the time. What are you doing? Who are you going out with? Would you ever go for a woman like Clara? Absolutely not. No, He's too no. weak. <laughs> He's too weak. He can't handle really? me. No. Absolutely not. I would oh, never do that. Right, right. That's too much. I need to sleep. That's right. I have personality. That's right. Personality? Yes, you leave absolutely. It <laughs> no, I have it here. I have it here. Take it with you. Absolutely don't not. Leave it at home. <laughs> Sergio, what would happen? What would happen if Carla said to you, oh, let's get married, I want to get married, I want to have babies? He'll run for the hills. It's, it's not the time. It's not the right time. Not for me, not Ditto. today. See, and there you go. Are you, are you uh, exclusive to each other sexually, did you I say? I have no time for anybody else. So, and what about you? Are you? So is he the only guy you would sleep with while you're going out with him, or is that not part of the deal from your, your point? Well, he is. He's my main guy. Main guy. He's my main she guy. She didn't answer that, did she? <laughs> she didn't answer he's, that. He's my main guy. She went around the bow. You saw he's that, right? Main guy. Indirectly. Okay. Do you I love Carla? I care for her. I like her a lot. I'm not in love with her, You're but not in I, I like her a lot and I care for her a lot. And how long have oh, you had this arrangement months. going on then? Uh, this is for about 10 months. And there's no emotion involved. We heard some of the things that you've bought for her, the, the, the vacations, the clothes, the shoes. Uh, do you have in your mind a rough figure? How much do you think you spent on her? Uh, about, I don't know, over 40000 $40,000. High paid hooker, honey. Who's, who's this? Da Davian? Davian? Oh my gosh. Davian? Starving <laughs> comedian what? that never paid her back $2,000. Yeah. He's an, an ex boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So you were talking. He's a great comedian, great awesome comedian. Yeah, yeah. But as Someone a boyfriend, that I dated. as a boyfriend, an ex boyfriend, what was he like? Broke. Well, we dated for two years. He uh -huh. was broke. I mean, he was just, you know, he, he's an upcoming comedian, and sometimes, you know, does get a, li a little hard. I mean, but financially, he, he owes you quite a bit $2, of money. $2,000. He's a great guy. Wow. Eviction notice. $2,000. Eviction notice? Eviction yes. notice. Yep. Well, one time I come to the house, and yes, the, I see the marshals have come. There's an eviction notice. And I can't get to the house, and I have my poor little dog Coco crying in the, in the background. So we had to go and talk to all the tenants to go to their, you know, to the fire escape to try to get poor little Coco. We had to break the windows and take Coco out the window. So that's, <laughs> that's part of fun. your broke boyfriends, which leads you to go, to go on this website to find gentlemen yeah. like Sergio. After that, I was like, that's it. All right, well, Carla took a lie detector <laughs> test to prove to Clara that she can separate love uh, from money. Uh -oh. um, you, you think you can separate the two, love and money? Yes, definitely. And Sergio, you can separate love and money as well? Oh, yes, Very definitely. easily. Well, when we come back, not only will we have the result of Carla's lie detector test, but uh, Davian is here, and uh, apparently... ...money. Oh, wink, wink. Man. Stay tuned. Tim? The polygraph determined she was being truthful. Yeah. We asked you, is sex with Davian better than sex with Sergio. You believe. said yes. I can't oh. believe Tim, you The polygraph determined that Carla was being truthful. That is disgusting. We asked you, are you still in love with Davian? You said no. Tim? But I can't. The polygraph determined that Carla was not being truthful. What? We asked Carla, since your relationship with Sergio, have you had sexual in- Wrong with this right now? No. Shut me up. <laughs>